Welcome back to Metroid Other M. Starting from the title screen here today, because today we are doing the backtracking, of course, but also they've added a theater mode and gallery mode to the main, main menu here. Aw, so I can relive the best parts of Other M? You can even hit play all and have an Other M movie night. Oh my, why haven't we done this yet? Bring a couple of your friends and you can have an MST3K night, you know, an, an Other MST3K night, you know? Yeah, that, yeah, that right. actually sounds pretty good. I yeah, love the riff right. on this crap. But yeah, they, they, they were just uh, kind Gallery, of... that's that surprises me. So what do they have? It's, oh, it's, it's just concept art that takes a while to load in. But, oh, you know, I yeah, like you concept know, art. Like all, all that. I you like know, it. They, 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 they worked really hard. Like there's uh, like there's Adam. Oh, you can even zoom in. Yeah. Oh. Every pore in his face that they detailed. Yeah, it's all that's it's all cool. typical stuff. All the monsters and everything. Yeah, me so likey. It's, yeah. So it's not like the art department, you know, didn't do any work on here because you know yeah, they they work. But there's still stuff here that's hidden. Uh oh. Oh, that's. Is it hmm. everything? Everything you pick up is a new thing for the gallery. Kind of the, the, it's, around it's, there. It's tied to like beating the game as well. Oh, okay. It's tied to completion, but uh, we got here. Uh, now that we've finished the game, we've got a little what? hairpin. We've got a hairpin on there to show that we've we've completed it, and we now have a percentage. So we are 65% done with the game, essentially. 65%? 65%. And Ew. Uh, we're going to be uh, taking care of the rest here. Well, the, the Federation decides to destroy the bottle ship. Samus returns to the bottle ship just before it's scheduled to be destroyed, looking mm. for something that was left behind. Something irreplaceable. Adam's ashes. That's what this whole thing is about. There's something that Samus has to, has to get before they destroy the bottle ship. Hmm. And that's essentially... Why we're here, but we're also here to get 100%, as you'll see. Okay. Well, welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Other M. Did I already say that? It, probably. I, I probably did. Well, You're just a, so used to it being on this screen right here. It it, it just seems right. Anyway, it's a way to kill time. Let's get to work. Let's get down to business. To get all the, the collectibles. <laughs> all right. So, if we go to that yellow square. We will essentially end the game. But what we want to do is we want to we want to get all of these other collectibles here. It's like right in your way. Okay, uh -huh. that's awesome. So we can see how much we have though, so that's nice. For a collectible person, that's good. That's very nice, very good. All right. So, try to go up there, but the camera pans over to this. These these doors that are power bombs only. Samus, you just destroyed the computer to end the game. So it turns out those were monsters the whole time! I beg your pardon, what? Yeah, they were monsters! Oh, and they just now felt this? Yep. You know, we couldn't be, like, knocking on them and just be like, Hey, hey! I, oh, I, no. I think it's like a hibernation slash stasis kind of thing. Oh, okay. And the power bomb woke them up. It's the best alarm clock I've ever seen. These guys aren't too tough if you're okay with your sense movement. I'm thinking maybe I can do like a power bomb to take them out even quicker. That'd but, be kind of fun. Uh, it, it, it would be fun, but as you can see... Do they just block it? It doesn't really do much. I don't know if it's a matter of no damage or it didn't reach or it just doesn't work like that, but that's okay because your charge beam works wonders anyway. See, I've never understood that about the power bombs. They look so extremely powerful, barely have any use besides, you know, exploring things. I think Dread make them, made them actually powerful. Super Metroid had them deal a lot of damage. Super Metroid and Dread, and I think uh, Fusion had some explorative re you know, reasons for it as well. Like, it's called the Power Bomb. Make me feel powerful. Adam Elkovich told me I couldn't use this because it was too powerful, and yet it doesn't do anything. It barely does anything, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't get it. Well, we don't, even, we, we don't even need to worry about Adam Elkovich right now, because I think this is the strongest part of the game. The one where everybody shuts up the and one, we just explore? Everybody shuts up. Adam Malkovich isn't talking in my ear, saying what I need to do and what's allowed and what isn't. Samus isn't stopping every 25 minutes to just... to say the most obvious fucking thing ever about whatever. Energy part that we gotta get, if you can see what we can do now. That's kinda nice. You know, uh, you know the Galactic Federation isn't here to mess anything up. It's just... it's just... Go... go around, get everything, we put in a few tricky shine, uh, shine spark puzzles for you, too. But only if you want to. This is a Metro game that anybody can play, so you can either go around the map and uh, get all the collectibles, like a completionist or like an actual video gamer or whatever, or you can be the casual fan that we're currently catering to, and you can just finish it willy-nilly. Just, just, just get out of here. Just get the thing you need to get, and get out of here. With the attitude that this game has, though, when they say that, it makes it sound like they're looking down on me. So that we're not doing that. All right, so that's everything in the main sector taken care of. 
You can just leave. Like a little wuss. We gotta go to Sector 1, Sector 2, Sector 3, and the Biological Research Facility. God, I love reminiscent episodes. All right, let's think about all the good times we've had. Now we're gonna be going through a lot of them. Memories. Right. So I hate how palindromic this room is. So I can't tell which way is which, but we're gonna go be going through uh, this door right here. Yes, this door. Race car. Or this will take us to an elevator. Hannah. Well, uh, it's a shame palindrome isn't actually a palindrome. I know. Missed opportunity. Quite Words. A, quite a dud. Hey, hey, there's one. Hey! Was trying to think of some other. A man, a plan, a canal. Panama is my favorite. Oh, that entire sequence is a palindrome? Mm hmm. A man, a plan, a canal, Panama. Oh, that's cool! Yeah. Huh. That's huge, too. So. We have now wound up in, I think this is... Sector 2. The Cryosphere. Got plenty of... Plenty of blue uh, blinking dots we gotta, we gotta take care of. You may have explained this before, but are all the blinking blue dots collectibles? Yes. Oh, okay. They just straight up tell us exactly where they are, not the vague hint of they might be in this area, it's just exactly here they are. And no other Metroid has done this? Or they just tell you where the things are? I guess sometimes I think, when you go into a room, it tells you there's collectibles there. I think Dread did it to a certain degree. Because I kind of love that. Like, I, like if, if you saw the thing, Dread marks it on the map, I think. So if you're, yes. wondering, if you're wondering where collectibles are, then uh, check around that dark area over there. See, that's just a fun uh, idea. I think, I think Prime 3 did something like that, too. Towards, okay. towards the very, very end. Well, Prime 3 is also huge. It's, yeah, it's big. It's a, it's, a, it's a big old game. Yeah. This is, a, this is where we fought Nightmare, I think. Or Nightmare's table scraps. I guess it technically was the first instance of Nightmare. In a sense. And then again, he came back. So there were a few things that we could have gotten on our way here, but we would have had to have gone, like, way out of our way backtracking. But most of these are, are just, uh... Uh, super missiles, seeker missiles, and power bombs. Hey, that's fun. I am all for this 100% stuff. I like 100%. So for the for the record, uh, there are 70 missile upgrades, which will get us to a total of 80 missiles. Mm -hmm. We have all the all the E tanks already. Uh, there are let's see uh, nine energy parts left to get. One more recovery tank and one more Excel charge, and that's all the collectibles. And then we can finally escape! And then we can finally escape yes! this, this absolute hellhole of a game. It's just... mediocre. It is mediocre, but but again, we're at, we're at the better parts of the game right now. Where it's just, it's just, it's just, just shut up, place a Metroid, go around, nobody tell me what to do. Nobody, you know, nobody's saying, I could tell from the way he was looking at me that he was disappointed in me. I wonder what could I have done more to become more of a good soldier in his eyes. In any other context, Hearing the phrase, the characters finally shut up. That's pretty bad. Yeah, again, I'm, I'm a guy who loves the uh, hour-long cutscene in Metal Gear Solid 4. I, I sat and watched the whole thing. But I don't like it when, when then talking gets in the way of the game. So this is why you need to have good characters first. And the thing is, all the characters in Metroid were perfectly fine, even without speech. You know, I was actually very surprised when Dread started playing and I heard a voice coming from the AI. I was like, oh, okay, we're doing this. Well, their voice acting worked quite well. It was in, you know, spaced out cutscenes that added to the game and added to the story and all that. They were also just like, world building in a way? Yes! There's no world building in this game, not really! It's I mean the bottle ship. Bottle, baby, <laughs> baby. It's just, it's just a retelling about about what happened in my days in the Federation. Do you think this would have been a little better had they not go gone for the, the the mother aspect? Like, if they just threw that to the wayside and just like, okay, what else do we have? I think they could have gone for a second draft. I think they were trying to do too many things. They are they're, they're, they're trying to have Sonic... Uh, Sonic. Samus. <laughs> <laughs> so he's talking about bad games. I'm talking about Sonic, Sonic and the Secret Baby. But uh, I, I think they wanted to have Samus be like, oh, look, look at this. Huh. Yeah, a power bomb for that, and then he starts the match over again. What? 
So, I, I think they wanted to make Samus uh, a, a, a strong, independent, you know, bounty hunter, but they also wanted her to be subservient to Adam, but they also wanted to make Adam, you know, uh, uh, the one you can look up to, but they also wanted to make him seem a bit more gruff so you don't get too attached. I, I, you I can't think do both. T there was a lot of things that they can't do both, and they did both anyway, and it came, it just, it's... Do you know how damning it is to hear strong, independent woman and then immediately backs down to her commanding officer? It's just like, that's so ass backwards. Why would you even try so that? It, like, it is... It's 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 not good. It, it, no, it's, it isn't. It's, it, it's not good. The that's that's all you can say about the writing. It just it it isn't good. They tried to they tried to juggle a lot of balls and they didn't really catch any of them on the way down. But there are mm. but there are some good moments. I know I know what they wanted to do. They want they wanted to strengthen the relationship between Adam and Samus. I get that. But this wasn't the way to do it. No, it wasn't. It, Adam comes off as you know, is is like you know, just 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 gruff and like not even caring. Like this guy, this guy's supposed to be a father figure to Samus, really. <laughs> this guy she had a shitty home life. Then Adam, Adam, he needs to be the kind of commander that I would be like, okay, yeah, sure, I would do, I, I would go to bat for this guy. Like uh, like imagine if uh, if James or one of the other uh, doofuses that wasn't Anthony on on, <laughs> on, on on that squad says why should she come on here she's an outsider maybe it'd be better if it was James because he's actually the leader so maybe he doesn't yeah. like the fact that she's here so so James is like why is Sam is here she's an outsider she can jeopardize this whole thing yeah she's not gonna she's gonna uh, help us out. so and and if Adam goes now hold on Samus has done more on one finger than any of you have done in your whole bodies combined. Yeah. So I think we need to really... Uh, so what do you say, Samus? Will you help us out? See, I don't think... Team Ninja earned this. Because all the other games that came before them were... fine and subtle, but Team Ninja is the one that did the gameplay portion. They didn't do the story portion. But the gameplay the gameplay's okay, though. So I, I, don't... I don't know what happened. Because you, you, you told me last time that Metroid died after this. Essentially, and yes. And I had to see it to believe it. Uh-huh. It's there not. is a gigantic gap uh -huh. between Other M in 2010 to Federation Force in 2016. This was, this wasn't even when Kirby died in the late in the late eight, uh, the late 90s. Yeah, yeah. When Kirby died, it was from Kirby 64 to Kirby Canvas Curse. Oh no, three years. Uh, three, three years. Oh, yes. Oh boy. Oh wow. <laughs> no, this is a six-year gap. Good lord. Seven technically, because well, even even then you had Nightmare and Dreamland and amazing. You still had Kirby. Never mind. Kirby never died. Yeah, he didn't. Kirby never died. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like all the horror games that everybody said died. They didn't actually, just decided. Oh yeah, it's dead. But but this ruined all of the mystery that uh, Metroid had had built up. It ruined all the all the goodwill. It's it it, it turned into one of the worst space uh, soap operas you could ever hope to see. See, I honestly forgot the timeline of of all the games that came out before Other M. I could have sworn we had at least a, a Metroid Prime in-between game. But no, those were all before Corruption. Uh -huh. And then after Corruption, you had Trilogy. And then Other M. And then Other M, and then it just stopped. Oh, they got one little mention in, in Nintendo Land. Thank God for that. Oh, thank God. You lo gotta love Nintendo they, Land. They, Everybody buy a Wii U. They remember to to add the Metroid NES to the to the Virtual Console and Super <laughs> Super Metroid as well. Uh, oh, uh, t they, they they also had Metroid Fusion on that damn bastard program. But you know, aside from that, no Metroid. They killed it. So technically, Samus Returns was the Hail Mary pass. It li it literally was Samus returning. Hey, good job, guys. Not only in, you know, because you know, she's in a 3DS game where she's actually in it now, but also she's, <laughs> like, back to form. We made a, re we made a real goddamn Metroid game An honest once. to God goddamn Metroid game. Holy crap. Just had to hire another company to do it, and they did a, they did a great job. See, I, I don't understand that. Having to, I mean, obviously, hiring a separate company, that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. what, what baffles me is, um, who, who did Samus Returns? Uh, Mercury Steam from Spain. Mercury Steam, thank you. So you had Mercury Steam working on Samus Returns. You already had Retro working on Metroid Prime. Mm -hmm. Were they ever asked? Just out of more of a curiosity, were they ever asked? Well, part of the reason why they stopped doing Metroid Prime is because by the time 3 came out, that's, that was all they were doing, they got burned out on it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. 
So it's like by the time three came out, it's like, oh, okay, yep, we're done. That's that's the end. That's the end. That's the end of Prime. We, we're we're done making it now. See, I want to see if there are any documents over at Retro saying if Nintendo asked them for Metroid Prime Four immediately after. I you know I don't I don't know. I'm very curious about in somebody's email if there is like oh yeah Nintendo asked us for Metroid Prime Four should a uh, confirm or deny should we should we say no should we say yes. What do you guys uh, think? I think... I'm just purely speculating you know, until, you know, somebody from Nintendo or Retro comes out and says that. What I think it was is that Retro said, no more Prime, we're done with that. And Nintendo said, cool, help us with Mario Kart and Donkey Kong and all that, you know, you know basically do mm -hmm. what Next Level Games is. Tell us, uh, do what we tell you, I guess. And we'll give you work. Okay, yeah. That... And so they said we, they tried to do Metroid Prime 4. I don't know if they approached Retro. I don't know if they if they came to do that. Hmm. Maybe if they said, hey, you guys went to Metroid Prime 4? And they said, uh, no. And they're like, okay, cool. So we'll hire, you know, our Bandai Namco friends to try to figure it out. But then it just wasn't up to par, even for Nintendo. Well, see, that's... So then maybe they had a bigger uh, inclination to ask Retro Studios more. Like, hey, maybe we'll, like, pay you money. Uh, <laughs> I'll pay you with money. A lot of money. We'll give you time, <laughs> resources. Just make sure you do it and do it yeah, good, please, okay? Please, please. Yes. See, uh, Retro working on Donkey Kong was actually a spark of brilliance because that gave them experience in the side-scrolling aspect. Mm -hmm. So they could have done Dread, Samus Returns, but I don't think they were ever approached for it, because they went on to do Donkey Kong. The thing is, Mercury Steam has experience doing Metroidvanias. They did, uh, the... Mirror of Fate. Mirror of Fate, thank you. Okay, yeah, and that was pretty decent. It wasn't the best Castlevania game out there, because there hasn't been a good one in a good hot while. So... But people, uh, yeah. people looking for, uh, more of a Castlevania experience that was less Lords of Shadowy. And more, uh... Less actual, God of War, more Metroidvania. More actual Castlevania, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's, Cas it's Metroidvania, not Metroid of War. No. Ragnarok. I don't think about it. Castlevania's had it a bit rough, too. Yeah. The, the Vania part of Metroidvania also had some troubles, imagine that. See, I, see, I want to think that, uh, Castlevania is worse off than Metroid is. Well, you had to leave it to third parties and original creators to bring it back, just under a different name, because the actual company that owns it doesn't want to make them. And then when they do, they're fucking shit. They've, t they've taken Castlevania in directions that it had no business going to. I'm talking like the... The fighting game? Well, not only that, but also the 3D ones probably didn't do so well. Were there other ones after the 64 ones? This is me being... It, not so knowledgeable about Castlevania. There was some PS2 uh, 3D ones. Oh yeah, there was. Lament. No, it wasn't Lament. L Lament of Innocence. Oh, it was. Okay. Harmony of Dissonance. No, that's not it. That's that's not it. I actually like that one a lot. Wasn't that L uh, Harmony of Dissonance? That's not PS2, is it? That's, or was it? I think that was Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance. Okay. That yeah, because you were telling me you had the GBA collection as well as, uh, or the handheld collection, I guess. The Advance collection. Advance. That's, that's, okay, it was Advance. That's the, that's the best Castlevanias you can buy that aren't Symphony of the Night. Or on the DS. I love the DS ones. Well, these Game Boy Advance ones are pretty good. I would love to play them. I haven't played Aria of Sorrow yet because I want to get through uh, Rondo of Blood and uh, Chronicles X. But Aria of Sorrow is really good. I didn't like the DS sequel. But that's because I played Portrait of Ruin first. And then eventually uh, did whatever the DS one's called. Order of Ecclesia is great, it just kills me because it's so hard. <laughs> but it's a good, good solid challenge. I just want to play some Castlevania now. Damn yeah. You. Well, I mean, we ran out of Metroid games to play. All we have is Prime 3 after this. And Pinball. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm up for doing a for doing a, a one-shot of Pinball. You I'm not going make... to do a, a one-shot of a $150 game, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You own it. I don't own- I don't own Pinball. Oh, you don't own Pinball? No! Oh, I thought you did. No! Oh, shit, I'm sorry. It's Hunters I have. Crap! Oh, Metroid gonna, Prime Pinball is super expensive. I'm not gonna do a one-shot of Metroid oh, Prime crap. Pinball. Oh, crap. fucking Pinball, no oh, way. damn it. You didn't get it off the Wii U eShop before it closed? No! Ah, uh, shit. I would, me, neither did you! You're yeah. the one who actually uses yours! Wait, did I? I? I can't remember. I don't know what games I own. UDJ, help! I have too many games. I'm not helping. <laughs> Offload, offload some of mine. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so that is actually 
Sector 2 done. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, okay, we just have to talk about Castlevania. We awesome. are done with Sector 2. Okay, go, go to my backloggery. Uh, uh... Alright. What are they called? Next place we're heading... Sector... 3. Damn it! I only have Metroid Fusion. I don't have Metroid Prime Pinball. No, oh, you only have the 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 the, the, the best good one, game, yeah. the, the best Metroid for a long time. Oh uh, no! Unfortunately, unfortunately, that's all right. One day, one day, we will get every single Metroid game under your belt. Uh, let's see. I've got. Uh, I don't have Federation Force because that's not really a Metroid. No, game, it's fine. You you don't need Federation uh, Force because uh, it's not a Metroid game. I don't even need pinball. It's not even a Metroid game. It's a pinball game. <laughs> Got Samus on it. Federation Force didn't even have Samus on it. It's got more Samus than Federation <laughs> Force because Samus is in Federation Force. Yeah, but it, doesn't she show up at like around the end? She's an NPC. Oh, that's fucking gross. All right, that's that's pretty gross. That's disgusting. How dare you? How dare? How dare you? Anger, Mado. Anger, distaste. Ugh. Well. I hate being a game collector in the years after the Wii U shut down. It's really rough getting games. I'm trying to play through some of mine. Just uh, chipping away at uh, at uh, several of my games bit by bit, clearing through that backlog. <sighs> my backlog continues to grow. It shall never be finished. Right now, I'm cutting through Fire Emblem Engage, chopping away at that one. Damn it! <sighs> Actually, if you were to total up every single game that I currently own, I don't think it's possible in my lifetime to actually finish all of them. Yeah, especially with some of the times things you have. Yeah. Like, even if I didn't go for 100% and just went through the main story, I still don't think it's possible. If I was still an Achievement Hunter, definitely not. I'm trying to think of actually getting to Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate? Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. The third one's coming out. Looks great. Uh, I love me a good RPG. Is that going to be a time sink? Apparently, there's more cinematic uh, cutscenes than the entirety of Lord of the Rings. Oh my god, no. See, games keep getting bigger, and my patience wears thinner. See, I like big games that they, like, you know, can sustain it. I think one of the best advertisements I've ever seen for a game is oh come on is oh, when shit. i heard that the witcher is like a 120 hour rpg every single mission is different yeah the witcher 3 has some of the best side quests on this side of the industry i i heard that and i was like oh hot damn they, yes yeah they've got they've got yes. fantastic cutscene and uh, and side quests now is that for all three or just witcher 3 <sighs> Well, or have you only played Witcher 3? I, I have played all three. Oh, okay. I have played about uh, an, an hour of Witcher 1. It okay. Is, it is very 2007. Oh, God, it came out in 2007? Mm -hmm. Whoa, that's old. I have played uh, a fair amount of Witcher 2, and that's more akin to how Witcher 3 plays. As It, feel, it feels like, you know, a more streamlined, you know, Bioware RPG type deal. Building it up. B building it up. Uh, not, you know, uh... It's, it's got cutscenes, dialogue trees, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Plays a lot, plays a bit like Witcher Three, but uh, Witch, Witcher Three is uh, that's the one I completed. One hundred percent. Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> what you don't have two hundred hours to spare? Uh, what no. do you mean? I, I haven't even played through all the DLCs yet. Shit, there's DLCs too. All right, add they're, another they're, fifty they're hours not on even, there. They're not even DLCs; they're expansions. Oh, in expansions? Ah. Oh! Never gonna get through this. So now I'm curious. There's eight Yakuza's. All right, you got nine it. main. Okay, you got Yakuza zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, six like seven. a dragon. Yeah, like a dragon. So that's eight. And then we have the eighth one coming out. And then you got Judgment and Lost Judgment, so that's ten. And then you have the you got spinoffs, you quote got, unquote. You got Ace. You got Gaiden. Ishin. You got Ishin. You got Kenzan. You got... You got a couple of PSP games that we never got. Dead Souls. You got Dead Souls. See, I'm thinking, you if I were online. to... If I were to start binging through a game series, Witcher or Yakuza, which would take less time? Hmm. Because I would go for completion. You would go for completion? Yeah. If you want to go for completion, give up while you're ahead. <laughs> 
Because I know Yakuza because is like every completion run is like 100 hours. Th there, are, th there are certain Yakuza games that you can get 100% on. That, that, that would be like doable. Within this lifetime. Now are you looking you're for meaning? platinums or 100%s? I'm looking for plats. You're looking for plats? Okay. Uh, there's probably only one that you could really visibly do. That'd be six. Did you plat that one? No, but you could. Oh. I've, I've oh, not, I could. I've not platted a single Yakuza game. Well, that's probably for the best. I, I've seen what goes into I, getting all the achievements or I got trophies. I, I, I got close for seven, but that last challenge where you have to redo the that, the final Millennium Tower, the true Millennium Tower, uh, fuck that. Yeah, that just that doesn't sound fun. So, So, really, the, the thing about Witcher and Yakuza is that I don't think the true joy of those games come from completion. You don't, it's you, you, just a little, like, side thing. You, you, you don't have fun getting 100% completion doing everything. Me completing a Yakuza game is doing all the sub-stories. Because that unlocks the true hidden final boss. Mm -hmm. Well, no, not true, but it, it unlocks a secret boss that's supposed to be a, a, a final challenge of sorts. And then, of course, completing the story. But, you know, like, get, getting all the completion lists where you need to, you know, visit the visit all the restaurants, order this stuff, get this highest score, get this highest score, do this, do that. That's not fun. I'm not having a good time. Well, see, I'm always on the lookout for a game I can get lost in. Like, I keep mentioning it, and I'm still working on it, but uh, Marvel Spider-Man, nothing ever felt like a grind. I mean, the ending part does, because I need to solve a lot of, you know, street crimes, but that's just because I held them off for the longest time. So that's my bad. But everything else has just been a delight to go through. So I think you're really anti-grind. I like it when it's fun. There's a point where grinding becomes not fun. I hate hitting that point because it just feels like a slog. Grind not fun grinding to me is Dragon Quest VIII. That to me felt like I'm, I'm grinding for hours and hours to gain just a couple of paltry levels and I still get mulched by the boss du jour. Fun grinding to me is where I can like throw on, you know, some YouTube video or like some, some long form essay. Listen to that guy drone on for a bit while I just play the game. Well, here's... And so, and so by the time the video's over, I've, I've killed half an hour and I'm half an hour stronger now. Here's an example of good grinding versus bad grinding. Mm. Good grinding? is when I was Let's Playing Persona 4 Golden, and it was fun to get to level 99. Like, again, I did the same thing you did, throw on a podcast, throw on a YouTube video, and just enjoy the grind. Because that was quick and painless. Like, give me an hour, and all of a sudden I'm 10 levels higher. Because there's a trick to it. And then we get to the Persona 3 Let's Plays. Mm, where, where, where they limit the grinding that you can do. Because and, they get tired. And still, you can fight through it, and it just becomes harder. And then, of course, you have the thing where you, you need to find a very specific sword in a rare chest. Oh, they don't spawn every every floor? Yeah. Cool. Guess I'm going up and down and up and down. Five hours later, you're angry, and you hate everything, and you still haven't found the goddamn sword after three days of searching. That's not grinding. That's RNG fuckery. I had fights. <laughs> That's 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 just RNG fuckery. I I will say that, that'd be that'd be like if I fight an enemy and it rolls the dice if I get money or uh, or uh, exp points. So I will say the worst grinding uh, system I've ever I've ever seen goes strictly to Lunar Dragon Song. Never played. How bad? Lunar is a, a beloved game series from the PlayStation days. I played uh, the, I played the Game Boy Advance. I got the PSP remake. Uh, mm -hmm. It is it is a, a legendary. RPG. But... Highly, highly recommend it. Lunar Dragon Song is like, what, the third or fourth game in the series? And, uh, that's the game where if you run, you take damage. Oh, come on. Where you run, you take damage, and when you fight, you can only do one of two methods of fighting. When you, uh, do any encounter, you can either get experience points for it, as you normally do, or materials what which you would use to sell and make money oh you ew. can't it's one or the other you can't do both okay yeah that that clenches it i i don't i never even thought of that game until now and, and, uh, unless i talk about how shit it is yeah i think another aspect that i just dislike because the grind hurt me at one point do you remember devil survivor mm-hmm 
in any Shin Megami Tensei game made before Persona 4 Golden, dying while grinding is the fucking worst. Especially when the game just decides, guess what? You're dead. That enemy you were trying to kill? Yeah, it has instant death. You're oh, not allowed oh, oh, to yeah. run, and he, protagonist dead. Yeah, yeah, he had a coupon. He's gonna, he's gonna uh, take you by surprise, hit you, uh, that'll hit you down, and then he's gonna, you're gonna miss the next three attacks you do on him, and then he's gonna completely, you know, d demolish you. Yeah, I still have plenty of footage of that happening during the P3 LP. Thanks. Could it be P3 wasn't a good game to begin with? I had fun with FES. It still hurt me. I had fun when I used an action replay. You know what? Playing it legitimately for the first time during the LP it was a learning experience. It made me realize that Portable was better in every single conceivable way. <laughs> Except for the whole uh, walking around the, 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 the buildings. That's, that's always good. Oh, it was fine. It was a cursor. But yeah, there goes some of the personality. Certainly a lot faster. I think the Persona 3 Portable LP beat the other one by, like, two whole hours. If that tells you anything on how much quicker everything was. Well, the point is, grinding needs to be simple but efficient. But not so much that you can get overpowered in just a couple of moves. A happy medium. A happy medium, yes. Maybe I should start the Witcher series. Like, when I was, when I was a younger game... And I play a, a, a younger gamer, I mean. <laughs> and I, I played the Mario Luigi saga. Ooh, a game where you don't have to grind. Yes, you do. I, I mean, it's skill based. Because I ran from every fight. Yeah. And I was very under level. Mm hmm. And well, I mean, it's not that I that I had to, had to grind. I, I ran from every fight, so I wasn't getting the needed experience to get to where I needed to be. And the final boss. Mold, yeah, molds me into paste. Yeah, if you are an expert at, at the action commands, you can do pretty well. You're still gonna get hurt a lot. I was 14. Okay, yeah. So you, no. you got mulched. I actually remember Partners in Time gave me a lot of trouble. I beat it over a vacation one time, and the final boss was throwing a lot of BS. Uh huh. And I was proper level. It was just throwing a lot of BS that I couldn't figure out how to counter. So maybe it was my B, maybe I just didn't pay attention. It happens. A lot. Maybe I should give the other Mario and Luigi RPGs a chance. I've beat the first three. I literally fell asleep while playing Dream Team, so mission accomplished. Paper Jam was okay. And then there's one more, isn't there? Paper Jam. It's Paper Jam, Dream Team, Bowser's Inside Story... Superstar Saga, Partners in Time. Is there really no others besides, you know, the first one? I think that's it. Mario yeah. RPG? Yeah. Oh, I could have sworn there was one more. Oh, uh, never mind. Well, that's about all we're going to do for today, I think. Wow, look at all the items we have. Here we go, a lot of items. Oh my gosh, what look a, at all the items. What, 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 what a time we had running around here just getting all these items. That's, that's what a real Metroid game is to me. <laughs> Nobody spoke a goddamn word. A real map experience. We got we got just one more item in here, but we'll save that for next time. We'll get everything else. But, uh, yeah. So far, so good. Making progress like a boss. Hell yeah. You go king. Yep. We're, we're gonna go king or go queen. I'm gonna drop a, a, a power go bomb to show. Big old power deuce. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> All right. See you next time on Metroid Other M.